Hey guys, Wade Vanderbilt here with DCTitleGuide.com. In today's video, I want to talk about how I got 3 million views to an Instagram reel. I do want to preface this video by saying I was not trying to get 3 million views. That wasn't my goal. I was trying to create some cool content with one of my realtor clients and things went viral. And uh, the more I looked at it, the more I'm still looking at it. I still have my Instagram comments and notifications turned off. Not comments, but notifications. Uh, I realized how it happened. And I want to share it with you. And it doesn't mean that if I give you all this information, you're going to get a video that has millions of views. But I can tell you, if you do some of this stuff, it's going to increase visibility big time for your Instagram following and maybe even your YouTube following. So if you're a real estate agent, you're a title rep, you're a lender, make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Um, I'm going to be, got, I got a lot more content coming out. So here we go. Number one, what did I do? I actually got uncomfortable and started shooting videos. Okay, I know you guys have been like, wait, you've been shooting videos for a long time on YouTube. Yes, but here's what I did. I got one of my realtor clients who was a little uncomfortable about shooting videos and I got him to shoot videos with me, okay? So I was like, hey, you're not gonna be in this alone. Let's do a, a skit video, a video about something that's really timely. So that's another thing, creating content about a timely subject, a timely subject that is controversial, not, super controversial, but here. So we did a video about the NAR settlement, right? There's obviously realtors who are like, this is great. And there's other realtors like, no, it's not. And there's consumers that are like, realtors are scam artists and other consumers who think realtors are awesome and they need them, right? So we got people on all spectrums who are gonna like it, dislike it, whatever. So we did a video about that. And what would happen if instead of paying an agent a commission, we paid him a dollar per hour wage. And then the funny joke part was after he we ratified the contract and we got to closing, he went through an itemized receipt of all the things that he did as a buyer's agent that people don't see behind the scenes. Uh, and you know, all the traveling, all the offers, proving houses, inspection, you know, text messages back and forth, all the things that we did. And the funny joke was he gave me a really large bill at the end of the, of the video. And I thought it was gonna, that, that large bill was more money than what I would have paid in a commission. And I said, hey, look, can we go back to the commission? He said, hey, look, I do a lot of work for you. Here's how much it costs on an itemized receipt. Hey. So video, obviously, with another client, boom. Timely, vi timely content, timely topic, skit. Okay, funny and educational, same time, controversy on both sides. Okay, that, that's, that's, that's kind of a winning strategy right there. And then and making the algorithm go. So what makes it go viral? One, timely topic, of course. Views and shares. So if someone shares your content to other people, that of course allows them to see it, and then that they share it to other people, that allows their people to see it, and then it goes and it goes. And as, as more people share, people start to comment. Okay, positive, negative, et cetera. But then what happens is people start commenting inside the comments and you get people talking to each other. So the comments fuel the comments, which fuel the shares, which fuel the comments. You can kind of see where I'm going with this. And all of a sudden it's like, boom, 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 right? And it goes to everyone. So it was really interesting because I found it great with the comments because a lot of the realtors thought it was funny. They got the joke. Consumers, not so much they were pretty hateful on real estate agents, okay? That's fine, but that tells me that that's how consumers, not all consumers, but how some consumers look at real estate agents right now, especially if it the NIR settlement went through, which is huge opportunity for a realtor to come out and clarify, speak their value, talk about what they do in more detail, because it's clear to me that to a lot of consumers, they don't understand what you do still, and they think that you're overpaid because of whatever reasons, right? And the thing is, it's now, again, this is the opportunity for you to let them know what value propositions that you bring to the market and to other consumers. So the other thing that helps it is engage with other people. Did I have, do I have time to engage with every comment? There's like 3,000 comments, no. But I commented with some of the people who were just completely crazy or just commented on the people with the people that agreed and thought it was funny, gave them a kudos, thanks for watching, et cetera. Uh, but guys, Creating video content with your clients is huge. Whether if you're a realtor doing it with a lender or title, doing it with one of your buyers, one of your sellers, uh, if you're in title or lending, doing it with a real estate agent or whatever, right? There's opportunities there because visibility plus credibility equals profitability. So, you know, in the meantime, I probably gained, I don't know, 500, 600 followers, most of them real estate agents, some of them realtors in my market. And then of those of my market, I've been following up with them to try to get appointments. So guys, getting views is great. 
You want to make sure you're getting the right views, creating good topics. Don't worry if it's a little controversial. That's what drives the algorithm, right? If it's all sunshine and rainbows, no one watches that. I mean, some people will, but it's not going to get you the views that you really want. Uh, so guys, take this information, share it in your markets, take this information and create some good video content. Uh, again, make sure you put your comments below if you have anything else you want to add and uh, like and subscribe. I hope you love the video and uh, go check out my Instagram account at DC Title Guy. Talk to you soon.